XRP, we start with one hour chart. Okay, if you refer to my last video, when we were, we were being within this move, then sharp move, I mentioned that mostly we can get the reversal. That's why I mentioned anyone is in the trade from these two correction, they should move their stop loss into the break even from what we see. Okay, now whether they still they want to keep or they want to take out the trade, I leave it to them because now we see the correction here. Okay, now we want to see what's the next. Okay, again, for XRP, we're going to have a news. We are not sure how this news can change the behavior of the, the chart and the way it's moving. But whatever right now we're talking is about the technical. And uh, if we see the news change the direction, whether up or down, I mean the up move or down move, then from there we will look into the structure again technically but if we see no changes then we follow whatever we are talking about i mean based on the technical analysis right now okay now in my last video we mentioned we have this correction and we click when the price was within this move i said i mentioned we are expecting the price to break the top then may we get one move down okay now as we can see we have this up move now the question is can we expect the price to drop one more if we want to look for buy. For me, as we can see the correction, we have a correction here. If the price drop one more, break this low, we will be within this move. One, two, three for the last move in relative to this. Because we have been looking for this one and this is it internally with this small one, which is including the third. And what we were expecting the price to break the top. Because now if we get one move down, then we will have the internal correction. And any buy after the breakout of this, how deep it can go, we cannot confirm right now. Any buy from there, we will be looking for. Because in my last video, we, when we analyzed, we mentioned, because since this one broke this low, we mentioned two ways we can look at the chart. This is the first move correction, and this is the last move. But when we put this one in relative to the, this, in terms of the length, is not same. That's why we mentioned, May we have the second option. The price can break the top, reverse. Then we will have the more complex in relative to this. Okay, no, we cannot confirm which one we have right now. May the price start from here. But if from what we have right now, I don't expect we get a really good trade setup ever. Even the price is the sharply move. Okay, unless the price, we see the movement, price move, then the next correction, we take the buy. What I wanna say that if we get a correction technically and the price drop and break this low, how deep it can go later, we can see it. I mean, we can confirm right now, we cannot. Then any buy from there, we will be more interested because at that time, this correction already done within this and the last. Okay, now, anyway, we don't have any trade set up right now. And if we move to daily chart, Okay, we have nothing, just this correction and forward chart. This is what we are doing just now we're talking. We want to see whether this is the fully correction in relative to this and for one move down. Okay, I don't want to say we are going to get this. I mentioned if we get this, any buy from there, we will look. That means this buy can conform for the next up move at least to break the top, even to retest this top. Okay, and how deep it can go? After we see the breakout of this low, we can confirm. All right. Now, if I move to one hour chart, we want to see whether we can get the trade. As I say, from what we have right now, if we get any up move from here, we cannot get the trade set up. The only thing is we get the sharp move, we get the correction. Then from the correction, we can take the buy. That's mean we confirm this is the only correction in relative to this, and this is the last move, and this is the start of the up move. Because what we have right now is not a good, I mean, it doesn't give us any good trade setup and it just, the way it's correcting is not like, it doesn't give us any buy signal, okay? That's why we have, to, if you, if the price start from here, we need to wait for the second correction. But if the price drop and break this low, then we can, we, it will be more clear for us that this correction already finished in terms of one, two, three, all right? Anyway, we don't have any trade setup and whatever right now we're talking is about the technical. But if any news change the behavior of this structure, then we need to look into the chart again and we come up with the 
new way. I mean, we need to come up with a new analysis and see how we can trade it. But for me right now, the best things I prefer after the breakout, any buy from there, I will, this is what I'm more interested. Okay, anyway, we don't have any trade set up and for those traders, still they keep the trade from here. They need to make a decision because right now we cannot confirm the direction, whether the up move or down move because of the risk correcting here. They should make a decision what they want to do. And uh, we just follow the chart. If I see any trade setup that can give us a confirmation for the next move, then I will share. And what I just share right now is about the different possibility, how we can look and what we can expect for the next move. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, then I will share. Thanks.